Hillary Clinton made history today, though not the way she hoped. She was declared the winner of Iowa's Democratic caucuses by the smallest margin ever. Now she faces a tougher battle against Bernie Sanders on his New England home turf next week. New Hampshire is also where Republican Donald Trump will be looking for a comeback after losing to Ted Cruz and barely edging out Marco Rubio. Our campaign 2016 correspondents are on the trail, and first we'll go to Major Garrett with the Republicans. God bless the great state of New Hampshire. So what a victory last night. After earning the most Iowa caucus votes in GOP history, Ted Cruz boasted to us he had defied the odds. Every TV pundit on virtually every station said Cruz can't win. There's no chance Cruz is going to win Iowa. It's not going to happen. It was going to be Trump, 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 Trump. But it wasn't. Trump fell 6,000 votes short and gave an uncommonly subdued concession speech. We finished second, and I want to tell you something. I'm just honored. I'm really honored. But today, the bombast was back. Trump complained on Twitter that he had not been given any credit by the voters for self-funding his campaign, and that the media has not covered my long-shot great finish in Iowa fairly. Trump called Cruz's victory speech long, rambling, and overly flamboyant. Trump still holds large leads in New Hampshire polls, but the race is quickly becoming a battle among Trump, Cruz, and Iowa third-place finisher Marco Rubio. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Hey, nice to meet you. The Florida senator says he is now in a better position to be the nominee than Cruz. Who's closer right now? I think I am, and I'll tell you why. First of all, we're one delegate apart, despite the outcome. Second, I think I give us the best chance not just to unify the party, which is important. You can't win if this party's divided, but also to grow it. But Rubio's newfound momentum also comes with new attacks from rivals John Kasich, Jeb Bush, and Chris Christie, who all need strong showings in New Hampshire to stay viable. Let's see if he'll answer your question and stand up and take that. Because I don't think he will. You know why? Because I don't think he can. What do you think that's about? Sometimes when people under duress, they react in ways that they'll probably regret later on and, and don't take that well. Christie finished 10th. Cruz worked really hard for his victory in Iowa, holding twice, two-thirds as many events as Trump and a third more than Rubio. And Scott, when you do the math, Trump collected twice as many votes per Iowa visit as Cruz. Worth remembering that Iowa Republicans haven't picked the eventual nominee since the year 2000. Major Garrett for us tonight. Major, thank you.